Hello and welcome back. My name is Rebelica and today I am building a shell challenge um, that was put out just before the Love Struck expansion pack came out. And uh, this is the, um, it, it's called the Spring Love Shell and it was made by Spring Sims. So for this one I decided I wanted to make a gym and this is before Love Struck so um, it does not have any anything from that expansion pack in it. And uh, so I thought I would put like mostly flat roofs on here, but then like one in more interesting roof on it. And also, I, I, if you didn't see earlier, I had put some different lot treats on here. And so I thought I would make like a, a big platform over here for a deck for a pool. And I put some steps here. I wanted my door, front door, well, main door to be on the side. And then I was trying to find a nice, uh, a nice foundation that wasn't wouldn't be too bulky because a lot of them have like, uh, like a, a piece that comes out. So, and I extended the roof out here a bit to um, have an undercover area. And because it's a gym, I made it the tallest wall height so that I can put the wall climbing machine in uh, because that is too tall for anything less than the, 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 the tall wall height. And I'm using the Courtyard Oasis kit in this quite a bit. I, I was looking for something red and I actually ended up using a red and blue swatch. So it looks like it's a lot of blue, but there is red in it as well. So. The colors on this on this build are mostly white, red, and blue. And uh, so I put made the patio out of this uh, crisscross X-shaped one, and uh, I made the the design go around the edges so it all has nice corners and everything. Put a pool in and um, some decorations around the pool. Uh, and this will all be changed a little bit later. You'll see. <laughs> um, but anyways, I was trying to get the rocks to go underneath, but I couldn't get that to work. So I decided to switch gears for now. And I wanted to put this uh, star shaped thing over here so I could put the um, so I could put the fountain on top of it. And because it does sit very nicely in the middle of it. But I had to make my steps a little bit smaller so that it would actually fit in the right spot. And I put steps up to the covered area as well. And uh, I'm thinking in the covered area, I'd put like an outdoor kitchen or something. I'm not sure at this point what I was going to do with it, but something that needed to be undercover. So I like how the pool's looking. I'm using the Riviera Retreat uh, border on it and the, the fountain rocks. And then I thought I'd switch to the inside here, put some floor tiles down. I used the octagonal... Uh, uh, I think it's a wooden one, but it's, it's, or not octagon or hexagons. Anyways, it's from Eco Lifestyle. I really like it. It's a nice pale wood. It's not stark white, but, uh, but it is nice and pale. So put blue tiles on the top and then I put gravel on the smaller roof section over here. If I can find the gravel that I, I'm pretty sure I used gravel anyways. <laughs> And then for the other side, what I did is I used the windows from the, uh, Island Living. I just keep thinking of it as the Sulani pack. <laughs> and uh, so it's a glass roof. It's still undercover. It didn't line up quite as well with the walls as I would like, but I can't change the walls because it is a shell challenge. Uh, so what I did instead was I put some flowers over top of the, the spots where I couldn't put the roof. So it hides the roof very nicely, I think. And there's no gate for this fence, unfortunately. So I found one that kind of matches. Uh, yeah, I'll have to check now um, because there was the update l last week that had the added the new color swatches. And so I'll have to check and see if that gate has something that would look better now than just plain white. And I wanted to put a little sauna in over here as well a uh, place for people to relax after they're done exercising on the machines or in the pool or whatever and so I put little half walls at the end to break up the space 
and then to like to show that that's the edge of the the sauna but it's still part of the same room and put tiles in for the walls and then I have these lights that uh, to light it up it's a very soft light I didn't want anything too harsh in here um, I've been to to a, a uh, uh, steam room before and they tend to be very dimly lit so it's very calming but I put a little mat coming out here just <laughs> little carpet tiles um, and some items on the different spots where you can put things just to make it uh, a little more or a little less stark I guess and I used some of the tile from the Courtyard Oasis on the inside. And then on the outside, it just made it a nice soft blue. It did end up being a lot more blue than red in the end. But uh, in the beginning, I wanted it to actually be red. <laughs> so there's a door out to the covered area. And then also from the Riviera Retreat, I love this pergola here. So I put that out there. And I put a little fountain, some plants. And got some curtains to go around the, the door maybe or window that I haven't actually put windows in yet either so I was just trying to find some seating for outside and I did end up going with the lounge chairs from the Riviera retreat I just thought they looked the nicest and some little side tables a little um, there's a little rack there towel rack that has a juice tray on top or drink tray okay so this is after the update that added the round pools so we didn't have love struck, but we had round pools. So I decided to make this a heart shaped pool. Cause I thought that would fit the the theme, the, the love shell. So I have a nice heart shaped pool. And <laughs> now I have to, to uh, decorate it. <laughs> so um, it takes up most of the, the patio space. Uh, I think Sims can walk around it to get to the little gate there. If not, they have to jump in the pool and swim across. Uh, <laughs> but either way, um, it it, uh, it looks nice. So uh, I used the same tiles and everything on the inside, but I added some pool lights on the inside because this was very dark at night. And I tried to space them out all evenly. So um, put some more candlelight outside. Uh, and then I actually put that lotus light there as well. It, just, it does give off quite a bit of light. Some little floaties in here. And I, I surrounded the outside of it with these red hedges. So that brings in the red coloring. Um, but it also hides the edge of the pool because it actually, the edge of the pool is right on the edge of the, um, of the platform there. And, uh, um, the pool trim actually hangs over the edge a little bit, which is kind of weird. So I made a washroom, it has two toilets and two showers, um, but I didn't really like how it was how it worked with the sink there, so I changed it around um, and put the showers actually on either side of the door. So you walk in and it's like shower right there. <laughs> um, it's, it's probably a little weird, but um, well, it is what it is. But I, I thought it actually turned out fairly well. It's dark right now. I keep forgetting to put lights in. And I am working at, in, at night. But I wanted to get these shower dividers in. Um, so they are there at the edge of the shower. So if you're like coming out of the washroom and wash your hands, there is like a divider. There we go. So I put that light in there. And that light from high school years, it buzzes. So if you actually zoom into it, you can actually hear it buzzing. Um, yeah, can't hear it though when you're in build mode so and then I was trying I was struggling to find mirrors so I ended up going with these ones that have the light coming out from around the edges and then I put some windows in and I'm also using the ones from the courtyard oasis and keep it on theme I guess so um, I don't think I put curtains on any of them because it's it's not like a house it's it's gym <laughs> so I uh, don't really need curtains I don't think I put a sign on here and I bought, got this fountain I thought it would look really nice but I couldn't figure out where to put it outside so I put it inside and I put a TV over it so then um, yeah then your sims can can work on the treadmill and watch TV or look at the fountain so 
I'm just gonna move move the windows down a little bit. Uh, I thought they were, they were a little high. They went right to the ceiling. And then here is the the wall climbing thing, um, which I really wanted to have in the gym. And I've got some um, punching bags, I guess. And I've got a weight machine. And then I did make an outdoor kitchen here um, with <laughs> with the little fridge from. I think that was the fridge from Get to Work, actually. Um, but there's a coffee maker out here, and um, let's see, what else did I put out here? Oh, a little microwave, so you can make little snacks out of the fridge, and there is a sink. So, so it's it's not a full kitchen, there's not a stove, but, uh, but it is a kitchen. <laughs> so, um... Let's see what else. So they have a plant over here in the corner because there was it was kind of a funny little space. I didn't really know what to put there, so I had put a uh, put the tree there. But then I also put a couple of the meditation stools there as well, so people could come out there and meditate if they want. Look out out over the the uh, the bay. And I've got some. I put some some rock benches out there as well. And a dumpster, of course. You have to put in a dumpster, and you have to put in the uh, the, the the bush, different spots for woohoo, um, and then some more red plants. Could you can't put fences right on the edge, unfortunately. So I put more of the shrubs just to to keep Sims from walking off the edge into the water, and some bamboo out the back as well. Um, so I did make this on a fairly small lot, but uh, I like how it turned out. So I have the I put a, a hot tub in, and then I put one of the kept one of the benches beside it. And beside the sign, I wanted to add one more thing. Um, I wanted to put in a basketball hoop, but for some reason it kept going higher and higher and higher on the wall, and I couldn't put it down. So I just put the one that is is not attached to the wall um, that worked out better in the end oh <laughs> and there's a telescope so there's a potential death as well <laughs> what, what kind of a uh, what kind of community lot would it be with a plenty of places for woohoo and a potential death so I put the uh, fountains back on um, and uh, I put I, I, I put the more spread out instead of all in a line like there's there's the two on the one side and then one on the other side and they also the other one is is behind the fence so you can enjoy that while you're making your I don't know sandwich from the fridge and also for lighting in the rest of this I put some of the little lanterns from again the courtyard oasis kit and some of the, the wall lights as well um, really leaned into that kit <laughs> um, and I think it looks really nice here I, I like to check and see what things look like at night to make sure there is enough lights so people can see um, and then I was trying to figure out if well, I should pave this area over at the front or not I ended up just putting gravel down I think it looks okay with just the gravel and I moved but I moved the fountain over as far as I could it's still on the lot so, and I put a ceiling in as well. It's actually the same as the, t the floor tiles, which is a little odd, maybe, but it seems to work. And then, let's see. Oh, and then I used <laughs> from the Party Essentials kit. I really like these lights. They actually, I think they look really neat on walls. And uh, um, I thought that it just worked at the front there to have the lights shining down from, from the roof. And I'm almost done here. Can't... Oh yeah, I added a photo booth, which might be a weird thing for a gym, but again, it's another woohoo spot. And I added another uh, another towel rack with another drinks tray on it. So they have a couple of choices of drinks to make. And uh, some more plants. Actually, yeah, no, that's the second one. So there's two of those. I think they're they're orange trees. Now it's looking a lot more done, I think. 
just checking all the different angles. There we go. Save it, and then I upload uh, and then upload it to the gallery. I think. And then <clears throat> I always hit the wrong button for some reason. I click the gallery button instead of the uh, save save room or save uh, save a lot. So I just put a little description in about how it's a gym. And, uh, it, oh, <laughs> so the lot traits on it are bracing breezes, which is good for activities. Um, the heart, I forget what that one is for. I think it's for, like, romantic one. And also it's on a ley line. So it has a lot of woohoo spots on here. But there is also a high probability that if your sims do try for a baby here, they will have twins. So... <laughs> Sorry, but I like I think twins are fun. So, uh, so yeah, just getting that up onto the gallery. It's I didn't change the name of it. I don't unfortunately it still says Spring Love Shell, um, but it is there. And then I'm going to have a tour here in a second. So, um. I know this is kind of old to put this up here, but I didn't have a whole lot of time to do much over over the summer. Uh, but my kids are back to school now, so I do actually have a little bit of time where it's quiet enough to be able to actually record things. <laughs> so. All right, so let's take a look here at the packs. It does use a lot of packs. I tried to keep it low, but it uses a lot. And I'm like, what does this use from the Cozy Bistro? One item, one one decoration. <laughs> but that's uh, let's let's take a tour now. So I did the tour during the daytime. Uh, I like to, to look at things at night because I do actually put a lot of work into making it look nice at night too. So here we go. Um, there are a couple of little things that I fixed, actually. The pool ladder, for some reason, didn't move with the pool, so that's out of place on the gallery. And also the walls here, the half walls, I forgot to put the tiles on them. So those are like the only two things I actually fixed on this. But uh, And then in the bathrooms, oh, so the problem with doing tall wall height is that the, the washroom, the toilet stalls are kind of crazy crazily tall. <laughs> if I could lower the ceiling, I would, but unfortunately I'm not able to do that. And this is the inside of my gym. So then we'll come out here to the pool area and just take a look around here. It has a very nice view over there of the water. You've got the heart-shaped pool here. And then you come through the door. And there's a little bonsai bush in the corner if you want to work on that and our kitchen area. And that's everything. It's actually a really short tour because there's only about three rooms. So thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to click on like. And if you're new, you can click on subscribe for more videos. And I will see you next time. Bye.